Welcome back everybody to Brimwall. Today I'm recording this episode slightly earlier than usual. So yesterday's episode hasn't gone live yet, which means I'm flying solo today. No comment section to shout at me for when I do things wrong. No advice, no comment section to fall back on if I need things to do. It's all just down to me. Let's see if I can still remember how to play this game. So one thing I've done uh, seeing this today is basically going to be... A lot of me trying to get the building done, especially. Just get it all cracked out this episode. I've done a lot of planning, as you can probably see so far. So, first and foremost, get down some floors. Because we're getting a lot of dirt in the base. Just from the fact that we've got so many exposed tiles kicking around. So, getting that done is definitely highest priority. What I've done is I've also dropped the dining room wall down. Because it doesn't need to be this big, realistically. We'll get a few more frizz in there as well. Get a bit more furniture for decorations, statues, plant pots, whatever. To make it the nicest room possible. But it does not need to be this big. With that extra space, we can expand the stockpile down by... It, it doesn't look like much, but that's an extra two blocks in height times whatever the width is here. So that's going to add a lot more extra room because we literally just do not have room for blocks or anything in there. We'll build a dedicated room for work, I think. Probably up here. And then change where the entrance to the base is. I'm not sure. The, the base is kind of a mess right now. The layout is not really what I would normally go for, I will admit. So, uh, we'll see how that goes. But I might end up building a workroom in this area. Um, in fact, we could even split off the stockpile and workroom over here instead. Build a shitload of bridges. Something like that. I'm not sure. It doesn't matter too much. The important thing today, though, is that we get the bathrooms done. And the the uh, hygiene. That is definitely the, the, the big thing of today. Or I should say the water rather than the hygiene. I've planned out a bathroom as well. It, it's very modular, but it was well, tiny as well. But it will be able to fit into every single one of these rooms. And it makes the biggest use of the smallest area, if that makes sense. So we could fit a bathtub, a shower, and a toilet all in the same room. If you want to think, what's the point of having a bathtub and a shower? Shower is good for very quick. If we're in a hurry to get something, we want to avoid a mental break or something, we can force them to use it. But the bathtub is better for comfort. So I'm going to put both in. We can build them all out of wood anyway, and that makes no difference as far as I know. So it's not like we have to use steel or, or limestone blocks or anything like that. Let's try and churn all these out. And again, it's, it's only using quite a small area. It's six by two, um, six by two bathroom. What I meant is three by two, but I added it together in my head before I'd finished talking. Anyway, let's get a bunch of these down. Because uh, they are going to make our lives so, so much easier. It's going to make our people a lot happier. What's going on there? Why does that fit but the other one doesn't? Oh, so this one lengthways. No, you fool. Um, right, okay. Let's go ahead and slot that in there. We are just going to have to put them basically wherever we can find room for it. Oh, God, that's hideous shit. What have I done? Oh, God, get out of here. No, 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 get out of here. Uh, no, get the fuck off. Good God. Right, okay. All right, let me, let me take another look here. So I want to make sure that these bedrooms make a lot of sense as well. And we, we've got to kind of capitalize on there. So that one needs reinstalling. This will not always be a prison. We'll build a dedicated prison when we've dealt with the bathrooms and everything else we have to build first. Um, that works fine. That's okay. Obviously, they can't get to the dresser, but I don't think they ever actually need to actively get to the dresser. I need to also make sure that we're not venting into the bathrooms. Who gives a shit about the bathroom temperature? Um, as long as the actual bedrooms themselves are being vented into, that doesn't matter. So that vent's already in the right place. We'll need to move the door over. That's not a big deal. Um... All right, that looks fine. We just got to we've got to build another vent into this bedroom, but that's basically it at that stage. So we'll leave them to do that over the course of today. What I'll do then is I'll just go ahead and very quickly forbid all of the bathrooms for the time being. We'll come back to that later on when we've got a few more resources under our belt. I want to focus on there's no point building that obviously before we've done this area, otherwise we've got no water anyway. So we might as well do that first and then I'd also like to get this turret online with the steel. We do need steel to build the bathrooms even though they are built with wood. They have a, a, a flat requirement. Yeah, so you can see, like, they require, I think it's five steel each minimum. So we've still got to go and get a load of that. I don't know if there's any steel anywhere convenient to our base right now. Um, we could always try and take out the mechanoid turrets down here. There's an auto-charge turret. There's an auto-inferno turret and a mini slugger turret that covers a massive fucking area. We can't hit those without them hitting us. Unless we sneak all the way around here, sneak through there, sneak to there. But even then, they've got a pretty good drop on us. Coming in from this angle obviously wouldn't work too well either. Because that's the the only bit that they're covered by cover. What we'll do then is we'll send out one of our guys to... We'll have to go get the steel over here or something like that. So why don't we go ahead and... Um, oops, I want to say mine or connected or... Oh, for fuck's sake, hang on. Mine or connected or... There we go. We'll send one person as a miner. We'll take everyone else off of mining. But that one person we send, whoever's going to be best at it here, that is going to be shit. That's going to be up, sir. What if we send Helatos, but send him with all of the... Oh, this is actually relevant for a comment I saw on uh, an episode the other day. If we send Helatos with the ground runner, which he's already bonded to, um, send him with those, 
And then we give him... What was I about to say here? I've forgotten what I was talking about. Oh, that was it. If we give him the pickaxe that we got from one of the raids yesterday too, that's going to help buff up his crappy mining skill. But more importantly, we've got the, the ground runners doing the bulk of the work. Now, the comment I saw the other day that I never got around to mention that is quite relevant is that the ground runners have a much higher yield than the uh than than people even a level 20 miner according to the comment has a lower yield than the ground runners will however the ground runners obviously we can't direct to mine it is purely random so for small mining tasks it's waste time i said them to do this would be a waste of time because our human will have mined that out before they even randomly will do it but on a big vein like this it's probably worthwhile the other thing we could do now that i remember it as well thank god we actually panned over here we've got the drill arm just kick it around now that counts as don't forget that counts as uh 100 efficiency still Stall a drill arm in his right arm that's missing. That way, his not only is 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 uh, fifty percent of his manipulation restored. It's also restored to one hundred percent efficiency, and he gets more mining speed too. We're kind of killing two birds with one st stone there. So, let's use the new hospital. I was going to say let's flop his bedroom over, but no, let's absolutely not do that. Let's go and put you in that bed. Let's get Rose to come over here and do the operation right now. Um, you can go ahead and clean this one up. Okay, yeah, well, I know we're missing a load of shit there. That's all right. Then, hopefully, I mean, hopefully this will succeed. What are we looking at here? 15.11 medical. We've got medical room. We've got a, a, a pretty lit up area there as well. Chance this failure is quite low. Oh. These things are spooky. In the distance, a tittering laugh is heard, mocking an inhuman. Something is coming. If you, if you listen carefully, you'll actually hear it laughing in the background, which is horrifying. What that means is somewhere on the map, there is an invisible monster hunting us, and it'll only become visible when it does damage. As you can imagine, that's a massive pain in the ass. Um, right. Okay. These things are also tricky to fight. You can just see them. Uh, they, they can be quite tricky to spot, but they look like kind of a shimmering on the map. Let's see what we can find. That's unfortunate that we operate on Helatos. When we've got quite a dangerous enemy coming in. That was bad timing, but that's alright. We, we, we weren't obviously to know that. Move in, team. Okay. Let's get prepared. We want to keep our eyes down here. And the second we see some flickering, the second things look a little bit out of character, we open fucking fire. And we hope... I hope you can hear that. Sort of very briefly in the background. Titter and Lapis heard once again, mocking an inhuman prepare quickly. Keep your eyes here. Because that's where we'll be able to see it. If we try and look, pan around the map looking for it, we will never find it. Come on, where are you? Animal needs rescue. That's not a good sign. Uh. How, what, how have you, what, what have you taken damage from? Star vampire teeth. Oh, so it's already in the base. Yeah, that's what's hunting us. Uh, a star vampire. They start up invisible. Apparently it's already around. Where is it? Can anybody see anything? Why, well, I can hear it. What the fuck is it? Oh! Okay, it's attacking our boy. I can't see it. I can't see it. What the hell am I supposed to do? Um. Oh, there it is. Come on. Fuck off. Come on, hit it. Hit it. We hit the goat. We hit, go we hit goat one. Go on, get away from there. We can see it, we just can't hit the fucking thing. Oh my god, we're just killing all of our own animals. Okay, we don't want to get too close to us though, because it will hit hard. There it is. Okay, we found it. Holy shit. Um, god damn, we killed it. Thank god that that tetragenic originator was there to, uh, to, to get chomped by our boys. You go rescue our quintuple originator. Where is it? Reserved by... Okay, go get that thing put down. Now, that thing is dead. As I recall, we can butcher it into Star Vampire Leather, which is kind of cool. Go one, not again. Shot in the neck by a fucking SMG. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't laugh at poor Glow. Every single fight that gets to our base, Goat One knows about it. You poor thing. We will build you a golden throne, my friend. You will be Gold One, not Goat One, by the time I'm done with you. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing butchered then. Let's get ourselves some Star Vampire meat. Oh, is this the one that drives them mad? Um... Yeah, observe style vampire, minus 80. So now we have to think about the mood debuffs. And honestly, even if we get some massive debuff for butchering the fucking thing, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it based solely on the fact that it's a massive pain in the ass to leave it lying around. 
Rose is going to be sad now because she's seen it. Yeah, minus 80 immediately, instantly puts him in a bad mood. That's where... So even though the Star Vampire itself was not difficult to fight, obviously it's invisibility is pending us, but even though the Star Vampire itself was not difficult, we now have to juggle all these bad moods. Oh, there he is. Uh, he's still woozy from the anesthetic, and the drill arm will also lower his moving speed by a little bit as well. Minus 8% is actually fairly significant. So hopefully, we could always hit him with a mutant leg to try and cancel it out. There's no reason not to, Ben, when we also made this guy our psychic character. So if we get those mutant legs installed now, it's going to make his psychic abilities more proficient. And it's going to make him hopefully cancel out the negative that we've got from that drill arm. But 160% minus B, plus the pickaxe giving the bonus as well. Plus he'll have a fleet of ground runners following him around. This guy might genuinely be what we were after and getting resources there. There we are. That's a little bit better. So we've got psychic. Oh, that gives 10% psychic sensitivity. Ah, oh, the downside is, though, I assume that the left leg would give... Uh, like the mutant eye gives a 5% sight, I assume the leg would give 5% move speed. It actually doesn't. Um, so all we've done really is increase the psychic sensitivity. But again, given that he's our... Sorry, what the fuck just exploded? Um, oh, God, I know what exploded. Okay. I did sort of float this as a, as a problem that may occur. Um, right, okay, that's a fair point. Um, shit, we're going to have to set a restricted area then and not go near that, aren't we? Um, right, so let's go ahead and manage area. I'm going to say anti-mechanoid as our designation so we can reuse it for uh, future raids or whatever it is we happen to have wrong with us. And we need to basically designate everything within their maximum range. So all of this area is completely off limits and i hate to say it but we don't have much of a choice in that one um let's give us a bit more a bit more of a buffer there and then we'll go ahead and invert that and restrict everyone to that oh god that sucks we need to we need to get some mortars down mortars are such a game changer now that we get these mechanoid clusters i never had to use them in real world at all up until the first royalty series and ever since then They've just been, I mean, they saved that series. There's no There's no question about it. Alatos is set to number one mining. So he's got his new leg. He's got his new arm. And he's got his, his ground runners. Hopefully that's all we need. I did notice that the ground runners, though, weren't fully tamed yet. Um, well, where is that? Animals tab? Um, we need them to have obedience, don't we? Uh, son to a master who will follow and defend. Yeah, we will need to upgrade that one. We can also have them haul, which I think would be massively useful. So I'll go ahead and put some points into that, too. Fortunately, they won't do much. Matt, they will. Uh, Matt, they and obviously Grand Runner 2 there will come and help out. Hopefully, they'll be pretty effective because we are very much lacking in steel. One thing we need a lot of right now is steel because we are once again out of power. Um, we do not have enough steel to maintain a wind pump or any of the, the hot water tanks, the electric boiler. That will need a load more power for as well. Obviously, the coolers, which to be honest, we could probably afford to turn off right now. Um, let's go ahead and drop that one. And we could do it. Uh, the issue is we need to turn the heaters back on, which is not gonna help out too much oh nice a masterwork dining chair very cool i want to get this new dining room done as soon as possible because it is affecting their moods a little tiny bit trait changed um what's it lost the trait trigger happy that actually might not be too bad that might not be a bad thing at all but in my trigger happy lowers the accuracy and if there's one thing we don't need right now it's it's random bullets flying around everywhere inaccurately because i'm pretty sure everybody's got that covered um critical alert fire where's that is that something i've forgotten to do um I guess I'm never going to know. Can't be anywhere important then. To say that he's only got 5.95 mining, he's actually doing this incredibly... Seriously? Fuck off. Well, the boom lamp's moved in and blown up everything. Decided to blow up everything. Well, you know what? Fuck that panther. It deserves it. All right, everybody. If we can put the fires out. Uh, whenever you're ready. Soon as possible. That'd be ideal. Thank you. They've already come over to try and tend them. Fucking panther. Get out of here. Kill that freaking panther. Don't you come over here thinking that you can kill my animals and live to tell the tale. And I'm going to have to eat you instead. Come on, that was an entire boom alert we lost there. Not that I've been able to stop that in time because that was almost instantaneous. Um, yeah, no, he's going to get through this in no time. I want him to just get this done because this is a constant pain in the ass. It's a load of extra food for the animals. So just having this might allow us to cancel this designation of, of hay grass, for example. So we'll get this mined through as soon as we can. Seriously? There must be no wildlife left on the map for animals to hunt. When we get this turret online, we won't have to worry about it anymore. But for the time in, it's kind of a pain in the ass. Um, there you go. We've got enough people kicking around now to be able to kill that. Take it down. I say take it down. Let's be reasonable here. They're not going to be able to pull that off. Hey, there we go. They're actually working now. Look at that. Ah, oh, cool. Okay. Um, oh, great. Yeah, and to follow that up, we've immediately been hit by 
the flu. But thank God we've got ourselves the hospital. So we haven't got to panic about that too much. If you're wondering why I keep opening the carrot square, I did see a comment about this a couple of episodes ago. It's because the button for opening the character editor is the same button to allow all on the map. So I'm probably just going to remove the character editor mod. It is essentially just a cheat mod anyway. The only reason I did it was to import Rose from the other save game. So I, I'll probably go ahead and remove that ready for the rest of the episode. But it just means that if things like this happen... Oh my god, that actually worked out really, really well. I didn't realize they were quite this good. Uh, and they get apparently a higher yield than our people will. And it's carrying it back to... We, we don't need miners. We've already got ourselves a mining squad. Let's see if that's any better. Oh, there we go. That's a lot more convenient. Shouldn't, shouldn't be so disorientating, Elva, every time I unforbid a bunch of steel. The map, the, the, the character creator pops up and covers everything up. Right, let's go ahead and get this machinery as well. Then I'm up for going and getting as much machinery, steel, whatever we can dig up now whenever we want. Because, I mean, we've got like a pretty hip mining squad, I think. So, no longer do we have to sit here and be afraid of not being able to get any friggin' resources. There's a little bit of extra gold there, too. Actually, there's a whole vein of it through there. Look at that. Whoa, that's a lot of gold. 18 tiles of gold in one vein. Oh, no, no, no. There's also some hidden there as well. Oh, cool. That's that's quite a lot, then. Um, there's a little extra hidden machinery there, too, we would have missed. But, to be honest, this map, in general, is quite light on the resource front. Um... I'm not a particularly big fan of sending our guys like, all the way up to here, especially if a raid spawns in right on the edge of the map there. He's got to go through so much swamp. I don't want this to be too far out of the base. Maybe we could capitalize on it after a raid has, has just disappeared or something like that. Hang on, do these guys go and mine by themselves now? Hauling squirrel dead to stockpile zone 5. Um, they might, but apparently we've... Maybe training them in hauling was a bad idea, because now they might do that rather than actually go and mine out blocks. Oh no, that one's doing it. So they do go and mine by themselves now. It's just as long as we've got... Blocks designated. 40 from a single vein. Shit. I need to make sure I've always got the ground runners some tasks at hand then. I need to make sure I've always got something designated. Because even if Helotos doesn't do it, the ground runners certainly can. Wow, look at that. Holy shit. This is this is a complete game changer. I can't believe how easy that was. My god. Alright. Um. Well, let's get the steel haul back as soon as possible then. We've got the other battery online now, which is helping out. The other one is broken down. I did repair the other trade beacon down here last episode. But we've also got to fix this one too. So let's get ups on that as soon as possible. There we go. Then we can almost uh, potentially put the lights back on. Um, we'll see how it goes with... Oh my god, have I not put down a wooden floor there? That's kind of difficult to tell. Um, no, we're good. We might want to save some electricity though for specifically this. That was actually what I was about to point out. The, the water system. But look at that. All we need now is uh, 25 more steel for the wooden wind pump. And then, in theory, we should start being able to get... A oh, no. No way. Is it the same hotkey as well for... Oh, for God's sake. It's the same hotkey as well for locking things on with the camera. But we should be able to get hot water running. And then that will give everyone a slight mood buff as well. Because they can have hot baths. And they'll have, obviously, a convenient, nice bathroom that isn't just... Honestly, a mountain of shit. This is just a room filled with shit that they just close their eyes and, and, and scoop a handful and chuck it in there. Oh, God. I completely forgot about the flu. How are they doing? Uh, 15% immunity, 15% flu, 13% immunity, sorry, 14% immunity, 13% flu, and 12% immunity, 40, oh, because Rose is the doctor, right, okay, um, let's get down a stockpile zone, and then fill it with medicine, so let's just go clear all critical, and any medicines are fine. Um, even herbal medicine, I know obviously it might go off, but the chance of that happening is so slim, because it takes so goddamn long for herbal medicine to actually go off. Then we'll make sure that in this stockpile here, which is apparently invisible, that we'll have no, uh, no of any medicine. Yeah, just no, no, no of, no of any medicine. You guys know what I mean. And then also we'll take it out of here as well. Like, I like keeping herbal medicine in the freezer if it's necessary, but we've got our own that we're able to grow now. Obviously, we've got the growing skill for that, so it's somewhat unnecessary. Um, is this stuff all ready to harvest? We've got 89%. Oh, some of it is. Uh, for some reason, we've got like a really staggered heal root growth going on there. Oh my god, that's why she's not resting, because she's doctoring. I think we need to drop that down. Oh, but she's our best doctor, though. I know that there's, there's three points in it. The issue is she keeps tending to the friggin' pig, rather than... And now you're tending to the pig. Can we just say, don't tend to the friggin' pig? Because this pig's gonna end up killing us otherwise. Can it not walk? Because it lost its legs. Um... It's got a bad back. Oh, fuck it. No, fuck. Honestly, just don't even bother. That pig can feed itself. It's just being a lazy pig. Okay, get rid of, the, get rid of those. Fuck you, pig. All right, hopefully that will fill the water bottle from Primitive Welch or whatever. 
Um, this is why they're not getting any bloody bed rest, because all our doctors are the ones with the flu. Okay, how are we looking now, then? 23%, 21. Uh, 19, 22, and 20, 19. So Rose is the only one under by a percent there. I'm going to lock the door. Stay there. Stay there until you are ready to leave. More caravan. Okay. A group of mare. Abandoned or lost. Wanders in. Okay. Um... We'll send Watts in then to go and gun him down. I'm pretty sure he alone can deal with that. Rose. Oh, no, 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 not Watts. Oh, for fuck's sake. This is me saying, oh, Watts, it's not one of the guys bed resting because clearly he's not. Get to bed. Never leave. I hate you all. Oh, was he about to tend to himself? Is that why? Fine. Wait, well, Rose is the one that's most likely to die right now, though. So let's get Watts to tend to Rose. Oh, she doesn't need tending yet. God, you people suck. Uh, where is the medicine? Get that shit moved. Here, haul, the, haul that out of there. Upset, you work on that. Hopefully Watson will stay in bed because that's now reserved. So I thought I'd, um, I, I set him to force mine all of the steel out. Not expecting. So the way that the, the force priorities work with the Axiom mod is that when they get to a mental break threshold, so you can set that yourself. When they, uh, I've got it set to, I think, extreme. So if he'd have hit extreme, he'd have stopped that and gone home and gone to bed. But he's in such a good mood. He actually got every single block of steel mined out. And then we've got all the components too. So we have 20 components, and we don't have room for it in the stop Are you kidding me? Uh, but we do, though. What? Wait. When did I do that? I didn't mean to cancel all of that. What the hell have I done? Manufactured? Items? Wait, what What has even happened there? God knows. Okay. Um, well, there you go. Problem solved, I guess. What the fuck even happened? How would I have cancelled, like, random... Bits like that. So we're looking at 36.42 with what's it? Smooth Octopus is 35.39. And Rose is not in a good place. 35.34. She's always a percent behind. How quickly do you think we could research medical beds? Because we've got the steel and the components to do it now. Uh, is it even a possibility? Hospital bed. I don't know that we've got enough time to pull that off, but I'm going to give it a fucking good go. Uh, right, okay, so Delta, get rid of you, get Delta on that one. Um, let's drop every one of her other jobs down and just have her working around the clock on making sure, seeing if it's even possible to get some hospital beds before Rose might die. Oh, it's also zero degrees in there, shit. Um, okay, that's my bad. That's completely my bad. Let's get this one reinstalled. Because these guys are freezing their ass off in there. That's probably being adjacent to the freezer. Um, get that reinstalled as soon as possible, please. Shit, that's completely my fault. 35% um, 10 quality, 64% 10 quality. How's Rose doing? When, when can she be tending? Uh, what was his 10 quality? 91% 10 quality. That actually might do it. That actually might do it. Thank you, Watson. Very cool. Where are you going? Washing with the well? Should you be washing with the well? Have I told you to uh, not be bed rest uh, maximum there, friend? No? That's fine. Last, uh, yesterday, uh, uh, well, yesterday, I mean, like, last night in game, he decided to go and play with wooden horseshoes pin, and I had to once again force him to go back into his friggin' bed. Man trap or something. It's not Sao 2. Sao 2 is becoming the new GOAT 1. He's doing it again. He's doing it again. Fuck off. Go to bed, you stupid man. What's he looking like? 32.59. Luckily, you can afford to play a little tiny little bit of horseshoes there. 49.55 and 48.49. So Rose has just about got back on track there. And to reiterate, we don't have common sense or anything like that. Well, evidently. But I mean, we don't have the common sense mod installed this time around. They're just, they've just lost their fucking mind. Somebody said that the common sense got merged into the base game, which I'm not entirely sure is true. Um, I did throw it through the patch notes, couldn't find something, but maybe I did miss something along um, some other previous patch notes from, from before we started this series in particular. Um, I certainly hope not, because honestly, the common sense mod tends to be a kind of a massive pain in the ass. Sometimes it's really good, don't get me wrong, like when they obviously tidy up a kitchen before they cook in there, or tidy up an operation room before they... But that's the only reason I personally use common sense. Everything else is just a massive ball ache. Like, I don't really care about them cleaning an entire workroom just because they're going to make a single took or something like that. It, it's it, it's such a... It's like taking the game to the logical extreme. You might as well just not play it yourself at that stage. Or what's the point of assigning jobs if they're just going to bypass it whenever they do the common sense stuff anyway, right? Ah, oh, nice. Was, was that Mac? Mac Foot Skinner has the possibility to be recruited for our Cyber Orc project. That'd be kind of cool. We probably shouldn't send the cleaning bot in there as well on his own to... Uh, 
go and tend to those guys. I have a feeling they might not be too pleased about that. One thing I noticed as well is that these are partially blocked, like by this one willow tree, for example. So we're going to go get that chopped. Go get this chopped. But what I've done is I've set that to be re -sown, But obviously, I've cut the area itself down massively so that it's only really there to stop these wind turbines being blocked. And I've seen this one still running. So really, we are just running off of one wind turbine right now. But to be fair, that willow tree is obviously only just grown as well. So let's go ahead and get that done. Go, go destroy that as soon as possible if you don't mind. Yeah, that made absolutely no difference. How are our batteries draining this far? I'm trying to work out what the hell is using all this power. Well, the water's on, at least. Oh, the hot water tank actually has hot water in it. Oh, shit. Well, then we need we need fun, some facilities in that case so that we can actually uh, actually make use of our of our water. I'm trying to unforbid these, but it's not working. There we go. Okay, we're good. That one's unforbidden. That one's unforbidden. Right, okay. So we need a little more wood. Uh, we have a decent amount, but certainly not enough for that many. We need a little more wood, and we've got all the steel we need for this as well. So... Realistically, it's just a case of going chopping down a few trees here, and we should have all of our bathrooms online as well. They made wind turbines worse or something. Because this is kind of unreal. Let's get that flat screen television turned off. Obviously, that can be... Oh, I was going to say that could be powered off, but it doesn't have a robot, so... I guess doesn't do anything. Um, yeah, this is absolutely mind-blowing. Like, all we've got on right now is the research table, which I'm going to turn off again, because apparently, even with three wind turbines, we can't power that. This is insane. I've never seen power drain like this. Let's get that turned off. I'm going to leave the comms console on for obvious reasons. For the for the brief time when we actually have some fucking power. That needs 20 watts. That needs 20 watts. And that doesn't use water. That just holds... Uh, sorry, energy. That just holds it. So we've got like 20 watts there. We've got 350 watts there. We've got... What's this one? Um, 18 watts with that one. 200 watts. Yeah, we've got three fucking wind turbines. And what, what are these? Each one of those use 10. That's 160 watts right there. It just doesn't add up. God knows where it's all going. Oh, we got Mac. Yeah. Mac Foot Skinner. Welcome aboard. 15 construction mean that we can finally give Delta and Upsa a bit of time off from friggin' building at long last. Um, that's actually so good. Right. Right. Okay. Um, let's get you then. Top priority on all of building related matters. You guys are absolved of duty because they've already got stuff to do. Um... Obviously, we're waiting on Upset to do cooking, butchering, etc. And then Delta, in theory, we should start training up into be a crafter, but she's already got research on her plate as well. He's actually pretty good at a lot of things here. Wow, you were much better than I was giving you credit for compared to everyone else we got going on here. Stone Curtain can stay priority too, even though we're probably never going to do much with it. Um, four, set that to... Uh, do we want those guys to be prioritize delivery? Probably not. Welcome, my good man, Mac. Not goat one. You wouldn't do this to me. Uh, Mac, get yourself a gun, my friend. We're going to teach you what this colony is all about, and that's keeping goat one alive at all costs. Um, what we got for him? Oh, his melee. This one's the one with the crap melee, so he's not part of the cyber orc uh, plan. I'm going to give him here. I guess we go for a lever action rifle, since we've got fuck all else going for us. It's either that or, like, we can have him dual wield in the flint locks. The flint locks of ice and fluctuation. Is that how that goes? What does that do? Um, aiming time and range cooldown. Wow, that is pretty good. And it gives some hit points. Or is that that it gives a weapon extra hit points? Yeah, that's what it does. Um, we could have him dual wield flintlocks, because that is kind of cool. But I feel like the bolt extra rifle is probably a bit more practically useful. Get out of here, you goddamn... There we go. Kill him dead. I believe in you, Mac. Or just stop firing after one shot. That's fine. Good work, good work. Ten hours. Keep firing. That's actually a good weapon. Look at that. Wow, that thing's quite powerful. I might have been sleeping on that. Oh, and they actually finished all of the plumbing in Helotos's room. So I'm going to go get that plugged in. Uh, the reason I want to get that one plugged in first is because that way they actually have a bath, a shower, a toilet. They can use this even if it's in someone's bedroom rather than the shit shed. This is so good. My God, actual plumbing in the base. Look at that right there. Hot water. Oh, we have no sewage outlet. Right, right, right. Okay. Um, it's one thing I need to pick. I'm not actually sure what we do with sewage at this point. Um... What do we do with sewage at this point? We got fertilizer area, but uh, sewage outlet. That will dump it into the water, but there's nowhere for this. It's not like it's a river. River, the water, it will eventually, sewage will eventually flow downstream. This way, we would just be dumping it into a pond where it would stagnate, and then we just have a, we, we've upgraded from a shit shed to a shit pond at that stage, and I feel like that's really kind of regressive. Um, what we need then, forget the hospital words for a minute, we need a septic tank, otherwise we still can't use toilets. It's only 500. Just get that done as soon as possible. I think we've almost got enough energy to put our 
Still discharging quite fast, isn't it? My god. Still got enough energy to maybe just get this done, though. Especially when these things start picking up fucking speed, if they ever will. They're useless. They're, they're so bad. We're going to have to build a different type of generator. Fuck these things. They're, they're, they're driving me insane. I don't know what the hell's wrong with them this series. Well, one of the mods we've got nerfs them or something. Chem fuel power generator we can't use because we don't have a refinery. And, of course, we haven't re researched refineries yet, so that we can do nothing with. Um... I guess the only option is a wood fire generator. To be honest, we've got plenty of wood. I've just got to make sure that we use the... We could use the manager mod to try and keep on top of it. Let's do that. Come on. Um, power. Wood fire generator. I hate to do it, but we don't have a choice. Drop it in the kitchen. Why the fuck not? There we go. Okay. Um, Mac. Let's get on it, team. What's his... Has he got not... Have we not got a spare hammer for this guy? Not that he really needs it, because he's like the best builder we've got. No, no, no. I think when I said work on the wood fire generator, I didn't mean work on half it and then fuck off to the bathroom. That was having a bath already. Look at that. Um, well, there we go. Hauling steel to... No, 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 no. Not hauling steel to barter. You're misunderstanding here. Why can't we... What? What's he doing? Steel to barter? Medical emergency who? What's it? Extreme flu. 9584. Actually, what's it's going to be okay? How's Rose doing? She's the real issue. 80, 80. Fuck. Okay. 91. Okay. Rose actually could be fucked here. And I'm not sure Rose why than everyone else. Um, Knight are these? Oh, those are cool. Oh, God. There's a lot of them. Shit. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, oh, bollocks. And two of our people are out for the count. Actually, Helitos is out for the count as well. Oh, fuck. Really? We could be... We actually genuinely could be fucked here. Um... Look at the drawer, I guess. I mean, a smooth octopus is going to be fine. So let's draft you up. You're you're okay. Like you're treated. You're ninety one percent. This raid alone is not going to change that. Rose is fucked. Rose, I can't draft up. Halitos, are you gonna pig it out? Whatever. Oh god, here we go. This is not ideal, is it? That's a lot of them, and they were quite tough last time. Don't forget. At least this time we got a proper kill box. Good luck. Why is friendly fire affecting that? I'm going to remove the friendly fire mod as well, I think. Oh, shit. Look at them. They're so fast. Get indoors. Fuck it. No, but we can't lose goat one. We're going to lose all of our people, though. Oh, my God. This is insane. They're so strong. Ops has been ripped apart. Ops has been absolutely fucking devastated there. Okay. Um. You know i got to do it. Okay, that actually might have worked fine. Get away from Goat One. Yeah, you better fucking run away. Never forget that Boomlop sacrifice. Rescue him. Save my man. How's he looking? Believe out five hours. Fuck, that's actually really serious. Rescue him. Go, go, go. Get in there. Holy shit. We had to tactically use our Boomlop there to save the rest of our people's lives. Those things were tough as nails. Don't let that battle rifle burn. Get that gone. Wow. That was, that was really tough. <laughs> Didn't lose anything, fortunately. Uh, also got toxic buildup. What, from those? Is that what they do? Wow. Um, who's, who's dying on me here? Well, you need to, you can fuck off your shit. Look at them, they're all still alive. God damn. Um, which animal? Medical emergency. Ground runner, uh, ground runner one. I'm, I'm sorry, you, you are not worth, we don't have the time to save you right now. God damn it. All right, never mind. Bear in mind that our only doctor right now is... Working on Upsa, who almost got killed by that. How's Rose doing? She's a bit of a concern. Flu Extreme, 84, 85. She is staying just ahead. In theory, she will live. But that is, like, nail-bitingly close. How many Boomlots have we got left now? Two? Oh, God. <laughs> That's not great. I, I mean, that was a pretty tactical use of the Boomlop there, but... Man, that sucks. That really does suck. At least we've got a lot of that stuff already in the stockpile, right? 1,056 nutroglycerin, which we can make into, what was it, chem fuel or nutramine? That was it. So, it's better than nothing. It's it's far from ideal, but it is better than nothing. That's what are you doing right now? Oh, you're also injured? Bruising your left arm. You know what? I feel like you can probably get the fuck out of bed and try and get these toilets working, if you don't mind. Can be tended in one hour. I'm keeping a very, very close eye on the second that drops down to below the hour, I'm going to send what's it basically over there. Oh, he's already in here. Um, just don't give a food poisoning with that for fuck's sake, you madman. Right, draft up, stay here. And then the second she's treatable, I'm going to tend to, uh, manually make sure this goes through. 
four, three, two. Let's move into position for the medicine and then on draft. Okay. Uh, excuse me. I was a little bit premature with that one, I will admit. Right, we good? Prioritize tending. Okay. Come on. We need our we need like a eighty percent. We need an eighty percent here, what's it? Seventy nine percent. You know what? I'll take it. It's not what I asked for, but it'll do. So she's 89, 90% immunity. In theory, she will live. But my god, that is dangerously close. 91% immunity, 90%. So it is staying just ahead. Like a tick ahead there. Unfucking real. On the plus side, we're going to meet well for weeks, though. Look at all that. We already got through. We've got through half our stack of herrings that we got yesterday. So we've got a shitload of those night armies. This storyteller is really beating us around. And that's kind of what I was expecting. It's still, this storyteller is better than Randy because it's still presenting us a challenge, but it's still giving us plenty of time, unlike Phoebe, to, well, Phoebe obviously gives you a lot of time, but it hits you really, really hard. This one hits us hard enough to keep it challenging, but also gives us enough time, like Phoebe, to ensure that we can get stuff built. We're almost done with the bathrooms here. Just got to get that fucking sewage done, Delsa, whenever you're ready. Oh, Delsa's pregnant. Huh. Well, there we go. Good, good ship. Right. How's Rose looking? 92, 91. She is staying ahead. I'm going to keep a very, very close eye on that. Let's make sure by the end of today, she is up and ready to go for tomorrow. Oh, she's two points ahead now. You see that? It was only for a brief second, but she did eke ahead there. I think she's probably going to be fine without me keeping an eye on it. Yikes. That was close. We actually got all the way up to 98% there. That's good. Everybody's healthy. Everyone's alive. Everybody's fine. More importantly, we've got ourselves... What the hell's going on out here? We've got a party going on. We've got ourselves a new recruit. We've got ourselves sewage systems, almost sewage systems set up. But more importantly, all the plumbing is set up and ready to go. We've got hot water. We've got a new dining room. We've got a dedicated hospital. Today's been pretty great. We're just waiting on Danak there to also join us. We'll have to build a couple more bedrooms, but we've got plenty of room for that now because uh, we managed to reclaim some of these areas. Put one there, put one there, whatever. We'll work it out. It's fine. Good work. I'm going to let Mac then finish off the last of these couple of bathrooms. In the meantime, we'll give a shout out to our insane top tier level patrons making the series possible in the first place. A thank you goes out to the very end of my list, including Chris, Paul, Chesty, Justin Wallace, Rodin, Skaz, Orkswolf, Amethyst Corona, Shay, Northern Bear, Odie, and of course everyone else at the insane tier levels on Patreon. Thank you guys for making the channel possible in the first place. It's much appreciated. Thank you as well to the start of a new list, including Emperor Caligula, Tofu Ten, Zega the Chaos King, Gaz, Sirthal the Swede, Smooth Octopus, I Am Sagatair, Distorted Triangle, Bubcus, Socrates, Swifty, 21, Joseph Beer, Erotha, Corgi Surfer, Circus, Trevor Sanders, and everyone else at Patreon as well. Thank you all for your support. I need a drink. See you all tomorrow for feedback. <laughs>